welcome to chemistry class today we are going to start the topic p block elements okay now what are the p block elements as you can see here there is a periodic table the periodic table is divided into s block elements p block elements d block elements and f block elements fine so here on the left hand side you can see You, these ones are the S block elements. Then on the right hand side of the periodic table, these yellow colored ones, these are the P block elements. Then the metals or the elements present here in the pink colors, these are the D block elements. And here we have the lanthanoids and the actinoids these are the f block sorry these are the f block elements okay these are the f block elements okay so this one is these ones the group one and group two these are the s block elements from group number three till group number 12 we have d block elements from group number 13 till the group number 18 we have p block elements and here below portion elements these are the f block elements okay so in the long form of the periodic table the elements have been classified into four blocks s p d and f depending upon the subshell in which the last electron enters for example if this is your nucleus and these are the orbits on which the electrons are present okay like this you have so many shells so this all uh, placement or the classification of the elements of the periodic table is according to the last electron entrance the elements belonging to the S and P block in the periodic table are called representative elements. What are these called? Representative elements. Okay. Or the main group elements. What are these also called? The main group elements. Okay. They belong to the group 1 and 2. These are the S block elements. Then from 13 to 18, here we have the P block elements. Okay. So, now what is the electronic configuration of the S block elements? The electronic configuration for the S block element is N, S, 1 to 2. Similarly, the elements belonging to the groups 13 to 18, they have the electronic configuration N, S, 2, N, P, 1 to 6. The properties of the S and P block elements follow the systematic gradation in the properties. Okay. So, both along the periods and along the groups. So, there is a specific trend for the properties for the elements present in the periodic table. The properties are also grading in, in the group wise and in the period wise. Okay. So, the properties of P block elements like that of others are generally influenced by what? By the atomic size. Okay. By what? by atomic size ionization energy okay then electron in affinity Electronegativity,
and other properties like the s block elements the there is a gradation in the properties for the p block elements also so the importance of p block lies in the fact that it includes three type of elements what are the three types of elements in the p block first we have metals second we have non metals and third we have metalloids okay for example in the p block elements you have uh, these 13 group 14 15 16 17 and 18 and the elements present here are you know boron family carbon family nitrogen family oxygen family chlorine family and you have here helium and just beside this so we have neon so boron aluminum gallium indium thallium likewise we have another elements present here okay so all of these are not metals all of these are neither non metals and all of these are neither metalloids so we have a combination of metals non metals and metalloids in the p block elements okay so today we have learned about the introduction of the p block elements and to understand more chemistry topics more topics related to the p block elements just visit like share and subscribe chemistry class thank you